a different one? You think there's only one Gustavo? I do, world? actually. I know two Gustavos. Actually, I know three. Uh, I played soccer with one in college. He was fast. He was. Oh, from, hey. He was from Venice. How you Lake. doing? Welcome to Win by Two. This is uh, the rant and rave episode. Hello! This is the Ramble On episode. Rambling on. I'm a rambling man. Sing my song. I know. Mana, mana, this mana, is, mana, mana, mana. Rambling on. This is what Tornadoes want you to stop doing, by the way. Um, who? <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, see? Junior. Burn! Uh, this is what Houston Juniors want you to stop doing, by the way. No, Jeff Hand wants me to sing. He um, wants you to stop singing songs that you're bad at and I'm don't know the words. Bringing sexy to. back. Yeah. yeah. Can't can't have a part, really? I can't remember what uh, what do we used to jam to? You and Ham? Oh yeah, we used to hit the club. Oh my god! First of all, I would be willing to bet there was zero times you and Jeff Ham were at the club. You're out of your mind. Whatever. <laughs> we so go stupid. we go two three times a week. Oh, okay, y'all are, y'all are big club kids. Yeah, Bar Houston <laughs> represent. <laughs> Shout out Bar Houston. Oh. Dave Chappelle moon dust from his bus. Oh yeah. It's, we've had some fun times. Yeah, that sounds, if, that, if that's the highlight story that comes to your head, Dave Chappelle, <laughs> I'm, I'm, if you, if your highlight of hanging out with Jeff Ham is that you saw Dave Chappelle's butt, I'm not exactly jealous of your past, sir. Yeah, well, just saying, well, yeah. you may have noticed that, you're, uh, you're according alone. to the calendar and, uh, if you go to AES and TM two, that we are a little over two thirds of the way done with the season, but as most people would kind of feel like this is kind of the mid season point, because if you include nationals, it is. So for the elite teams sure. that are trying to qualify for nationals, go and play open that kind of stuff, uh, which is primarily what, you know, clubs like us deal in. Oh, you changed your microphone, huh? I, oh, did I go the other way now? No. Oh, I didn't even notice. Uh, stop staring at my mic. Yeah. We, uh, we're halfway through the season. This is where things start getting real. So all the work goes into now, what are you going to do moving forward? And we've already gotten through some of the qualifiers. We've done 18s. Uh, they got one more big qualifier coming up this weekend. Lone Star's coming up this weekend. So, yes. uh, last chance for a lot of Texas teams and, uh, teams from, I guess, outside Texas, but I don't know how many there are cause we can't find a team list. Uh, oh, there's a team list. Oh, we didn't look that hard. There's a lot of teams. Arizona East Valley. Okay. Anyway, um, that's coming up this weekend. A lot of people have already had their regionals. Uh, North Texas region has had their regionals. What club is this? Dude, we're looking at club names. Some of them we've never heard of. This Francis one is Marie Thomas Volleyball Club. Volleyball Academy, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Francis Marie Thomas. <coughs> if you guys want to come on the podcast, uh, let us know. We'll hook you up. Ocala. Well, Ocala performance has been around for a while. Ocala. Okay. Um, yeah, so what is your, uh, what's your take on the season so far, Jefferson? It's been good. It's been real good. You know, it's been uh, real listen, good. We're not doing an where... NBA locker room interview. It's not <laughs> what's going on right now. No, that was my shout out to win by three. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. I still haven't watched that one was... episode, so <laughs> sorry, girls. This is good. It's real good. There's this part where I get it and I flip the... <laughs> Oh, I thought you were doing a Shaquille O'Neal thing or something. No. That's the same as your Shaquille O'Neal impersonation. No, my Shaquille O'Neal impersonation is this. My my back. Yeah, that sounds the same. <laughs> Just different words. Or this. Brick. <laughs> Brick. There you go. I, Feel free to use that anyone. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, uh, mid-season report. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Waddle Dob? Shut up. I'm telling you. No, he's not kidding. There's a Waddle Dob. I'm, I got to find these people. Yeah. The Waddle Dob Nation. You know what we need to do is we need to get to one of these tournaments and go around and interview all these clubs and like interview the kids and be like, so what drew you to Waddle Dob? <laughs> I'm about to find out. I don't even That's- know where they're from. Oh, Waddle and Dob is a company building <clears throat> material used for making walls in which a woven lattice. Of, hey, I was reading that. Yeah. You scrolled up. Waddle Dob Volleyball. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're Adidas. That's what we've learned so far. 
Ooh, I think they're from New Orleans. New Orleans. Water Dog from New Orleans. Crazy. Who you know that play for Water Dog? Who that there? Yeah. Who that there playing Water Dog? The bond they said it's fired. Well, that's the way we like it. Waddle Dob Nation, 17 Adidas is in Orlando. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, yeah, all right. So, uh, good luck, 17s. Yeah, <laughs> good luck, Waddle Dob. That'd be great. I don't want to play these guys. I know, right? Wow. That'd be fantastic. Waddle Dob. Uh, so, let's start with uh, the North Texas region. Let's, let's do it. Uh, we have 15 teams qualified so far. That's pretty good. It's not bad. I bet we're at the top of the list. Think so? Fifteen's a lot. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of club, a lot of regions have already had their regionals for their all age groups. Still have more. I know. I still think we're higher. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. But your yeah. points well taken. We've had eighteens regionals. I bet we're higher than Iroquois Nation, uh, Iroquois Empire, but Buffalo Soldier. I don't know. That, that's have Cherokee and Choctaw. My baby, she's a Chippewa. Chippewa. I, I'm sorry. She's a one of a kind. I don't know what that. There was a string of non sequitur references there that I'm not even sure you understand what you just did. You don't. How do you not know Tim McGraw? A because country's terrible. That's right. I'm on record. It's the worst. Tim McGraw. Yeah, is country ergo terrible? I don't know. Don't Google Tim McGraw. It's bad. I listen. I get it. He's a country. He's. That's who he is right there. See him? Yeah, I know. I see him. He's terrible. Oh, oh, I didn't know if you knew who he was. And didn't he have to cancel a show recently? Didn't he like cancel an entire concert because he had a stroke or something? No. He got sick and had to cancel something. No, he's he's the epitome of of good man. He's well, he may be a good man. I mean, country music's terrible. He's in it's, good health. If you like country he's music, he's got a beautiful wife. They make great music. I guess together. I should say if you like country music exclusively, odds are you're a simpleton. I'm gonna go on record and saying that. See, I, I don't know if I would say Yeah, that. I'm going to say it out loud. That's true. Country music's sole purpose is to so that people who are untalented can sing along. That's all it's good for. Um, wow. That's terrible. So right now in the 18s of our region, uh, TAVS2, Image has one, and then we have our four teams from regionals, which are um, Excel, Drive Nation, Mad Frog, and that was the, the and Image was at, uh, was at regionals. So Image that's Ben. Yeah, Ben. Those are our 18s that have qualified. Um, but yeah, 15 total, obviously largely in the younger age groups through Colorado. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had one 16s team, Ace, got in through Colorado. We had like two or three teams get in because somebody declined to bid, Northern Lights. What are you doing, by the way? Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Why'd you go? It's not fair. But, hey, thank you, because we got two North Texas region teams. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I don't know that it's not fair, but I don't know why they didn't go. But, I mean, That's you're knocking people out of contempt. Like, you didn't beat – the team that got in isn't somebody you beat. You knocked somebody out of a chance to beat the team that got in because you forfeited your bid. Like, you're going to a national qualifier for the competition. I get that, but it's a national qualifier. And then when you beat people and knock them out of contention for the people that actually want to go to nationals, then you right. turn down your bid. Yeah. It's a little cheap. I don't know. It's a little cheap. I think it's the system. It's like the whole tryout process in the North Texas. Region. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. If um, you put something out there and people, you try to get people out because you're elitist, they're going to find a way. That's what it is. I'm elitist. They're, they're going to find a way to get in because they want to get good matches. First of all. And until the, the qualifiers or USA Volleyball No, that's what I'm says, saying. USA Volleyball should. They should say, listen, if you decline a bid, you don't get to go. To, I mean, I thought that was a rule, actually. but Yeah. You shouldn't be able to go to a qualifier and decline a bid. That's just, it's a qualifier. Yeah. Agreed. It's dumb. But hey, it got us a couple of teams then, so. Yeah, thanks. Good for us, yeah. Thanks, Kurt. Um, What else? I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, who, all the who, bid events are in, the, in our rearview window, so if yep. regional's team list is set. Um, I think we're still at the four level. I think we're getting four bids at each age group, except I think 12s and 13s might get an 11s now. 11s is now an age group at nationals. That's an official qualifying age group. So, um, there's that. Um, 11s. I know, right? It'll be 10s before too long. Passed yeah. unanimously, by the way. It'll be 11 open. Soon. Oh, no, it will. Yeah, that'll be next for sure. Because 11 is going to fill up like that. Uh, one thing we are noticing as we looked at the Colorado results, 
why is the North Texas region so much better than everybody else at 11s, 12s, and 13s? And I mean other regions. Like, And it's not just one club. It's like five or six or seven clubs. Like, what was it? Five of the top six in one of the age groups was all Texas teams. Mm -hmm. In the younger age. that That's ridiculous. I mean, it might just be the size of our region compared to. Well, our, I mean, we're, I think we're. Because I bet if we go back and look ninth, at it, I bet at the Colorado, at the Colorado Crossroads, I bet one of those teams in the top, two of those teams in the top 10 of 11s were from Colorado. Well, sure. And they were like, yeah, let's just play. And our kids, know, man. we sent five of our top 11s teams. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And we have more Maybe the younger those. kids just don't travel. Maybe our region, the younger kids travel more, maybe. Oh, yeah. The good teams travel. But gosh, it just seems like our young kids, like our junior high, young yeah. junior high kids. Our fifth, sixth, and seventh graders are just working people. That's what it feels like. I don't know. It's because we start them. Is eleventh in junior high? No, eleventh no, aren't. Elevens are fifth graders. Yeah. Okay. You said junior high. I was like, wait. Well, junior I'm, high and younger. I'm getting old. Yeah, fair enough. And Connor will be in junior high next year, right? No. <laughs> I mean, he is already advanced for his he is, two-year-old class. He's, he's testing at a junior high level <laughs> and punching bam, things. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> he's pretty. He's pretty. Watch out, Connor McGraw. Who? Yeah, I uh, just made that up. McGregor? Is that yeah. where you were going? Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> that was a Tim McGraw wrote Connor come McGregor. Come on. Come on. <sighs> it could be Connor McGregor easy. I thought we had moved past Tim McGraw, but I see it's still up on your computer. Yeah, because Faith Hill's on there. I mean... Fair. I mean, Faith Hill's a perfect example. Her and who was that other chick that wasn't good looking, but everybody thought was, <laughs> who had a bunch of country hits that went pop. What was her name? She was a country star. She, uh, Leanne Rhymes. That's what I'm thinking of. Every good country song that's actually a good song goes pop. Like it, it goes into the, and there's been like five ever. Country's know. terrible. I don't know. It's so bad. I don't know how much of the radio you listen Hip-hop's to. Hip-hop's bad now, too. <laughs> wow. All right, those of you that are under the age of 25, I guess you can stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't watching to begin with. Um, so, yeah, so you want to talk rankings? Yeah, so, let's do it. I don't know. For those of you that know me well, know that I'm a little bit of a numbers guy. So what I did was I took the uh, – the top two 12s, top two 13, top three 13s, 14s, 15s, 16s, and the top two 17s and 18s from every club and averaged where they're ranked right now. Every club in the region? No. Well, I did the, I did anybody that had a representation in the top 10. So if you have two, one or two teams in the top 10, I looked at your whole club with those. Okay. And then if you didn't have, like if you came in, if your average was way low or you only had like three teams. Like there was one year I did this where Royal Tigers was around. They had one team. Right. I didn't include that. Right. Because it skews the average. Like yeah. you had to have at least, you know, I forget what the minimum was. But the team was pretty good. Nine. Though. I think the minimum was nine teams. I had said had, you had to have at least nine teams in these numbers and uh, averaged it out. So these are averages, which, you know, you might have a team that's first in the region, fifth in the region. And then if your third team is 105th, it's going to blow your average. So right. it's not a perfect system. This is just a cursory look. What happens if you just do, you have to have 10 teams to be in the top 10. Sure. Well, that would screw Arsenal. who only has nine teams. So I'll put Arsenal in there because they have nine teams, but they're the only club in the region that has nine teams. They're the only club in the region that's eligible for this list that has nine teams. Nobody else with nine teams is ranked high enough. So, so that's what I did. So the top 10, and this is if you average all those. So again, two 12s, two 17s, two 18s, and two and three of everything else. Now, if you have a Metro program or if you have a team that's only playing club, I didn't include them. So I only included teams that are trying to go to regionals or that are trying to qualify. Right. So basically it's saying, hey, look, if you've got teams that are trying to go to regionals, that's who we're trying to see. So this is a very, like you said before, elitist kind of, what does the top of the region look like and right. how does it compare to each other vis-a-vis -vis rankings across the board? Yeah, I think that, well, that's all anyone wants to know. Who's the top 10 in the region? Okay, well, um, right now. Chino, who's the top 10? Well, let's see if Chino gets right. Chino's new to the region, roughly. Win by two. 
No, who are the top 10 clubs? Who do you think the top 10 clubs in the region are? Ranked in the region right now. Just start giving us names. TAB. That's a good guess. Skyline. Another good guess. Actually, why am I doing this? I have a computer in front of me. I'm using a dry erase board like a chump. Uh, All right. Arsenal. Okay. Williams. Okay. So far, so good. Excel. Keep good. going, Chino. You, you can, can do, do it. it. Just list 10. That's five. You got just, five more. He's got a list. Come here. That's a good, good. You almost got fired, but okay. Yeah. You got four more. Four, team, four clubs you haven't listed yet. They're in the top 10. One of them's extremely angry. Nah, That's a good one. Okay. Three more. Okay. Chino's new to the region, so we're going to give him a pass. Let's start with number 10. So there were, so the averages range from ele- the average of ranking of 11 and a half to an average ranking of 34 and a half. And that's average across the board. Okay. There were two clubs in the 30s, two clubs that were an average of 34 and 31, respectively. They come in at 10 and 9. And this is as of right now. This could change after qualifiers and nationals. This definitely can change. It changes every time the rankings come out. But right now, Instinct is averaging 34.6. Um, their highlights, of course, being their 15s. They got two 15s at 6 and 7, which they had two 15s in the top 10 last year. They had two 15s in the top 10 this year. Um, their 18s are ninth right now. So they come in at an average of 34.6 at number 10. At number 9, you got Tejas, fresh off their move into the Ulysses area. Wait, when you say Instinct's. Would you say is there 17th or 18th or 9th? 18th or 9th. Is that in the region? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right now in the right in V Star. Okay. In, in V Star. Gotcha. Reference V Star ranking video. We'll put a link to it right here. Excellent. Did you mark that down? Don't make me look like an idiot. Let me put a link. On it. That, gonna, why do you always eyeball him to try and make me look bad? It's gonna be hard. Dumb man. Uh, anyway. Um, so that's it. Like Tejas fresh off their move. To a new facility are at 31.4 average. Um, their highlights being their their 12s are eight, their 13s are fourth and have qualified. They qualified open. Um, really good 13s team. And then coming in at number eight and number seven at 28.6 and 26.6, respectively, Premier and Arsenal. So Premier's eighth, Arsenal is seventh. Right now, um, our highlights, of course, are, as usual, our older kids, um, 16th, 10th, 17th, 6th, um, 18th, 12th. So that's kind of where the, the average helps us out. Uh, 15th and 14th are right at the top of the 20s, low high teens, low 20s. Um, and then Arsenal, their huge number is um, their 7th at 16th and 14th or 11th, which helps their average considerably. So they're doing good. Um very similar clubs, actually, us and Arsenal, now that I think about it, like numbers-wise, just not in the same spots, but very similar. Now, obviously, that's why the rankings are so close. So 34.6, 31.4, 28.6 for us, 26.6 for Arsenal. Then we drop down to 23.8 and 22. Uh, we have 23, 22, 20 are the next three, and this is your um, six, five, four clubs. Uh, coming in at sixth right now is Excel which I think, I, I don't know, for me, I thought they'd be a little bit higher than that. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with sixth, but I thought they'd be in the low teens on average. Um, Excel doing really good. They've got a top 10 team. Each of their top teams is top 10 across the board, and this is where that kind of starts. Um, where where Excel's taking a little bit of a hit from where I thought they would be is their second and third teams, um, but their top teams starting with 12s, 6, 7, 6, 8, 3, 3, 2. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Image is at 22.5. Image's highlights, of course, being their 16s and 17s are 4 and 2. Their 18s are 6 and 7. Their two 18s are 6 and 7. They both are one of Ben's qualified. Um, they're, They're doing good at the older age groups as well. Their 14s are Image, ninth. Image has both of their 18s qualified. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Both of their 18s have qualified. So, yeah, six and seven there. Um, then you get to Flyers, which is at 
I think Flyers is helped out <laughs> by the fact they don't have an 18th team. So they're the only team in the top 10 that doesn't have an 18th team. Um, they're primarily a younger club. So their youth are their, – their 12s are 5th and 7th. Um, their 15s are 4th in the region right now. I've, I got to ref a couple of their matches. They're a good team. Um, they've qualified. They qualified at Colorado. Mm-hmm. Um, their 13s are ninth. And then they go, you know, at the older age groups, it starts to slip a little bit. Um, but, you know, they're helped out by the fact that they, they go deep at the younger age groups. Like they've got, if you just did third team rankings, they would be number two. So they're, they're, they go deep at the younger age groups and that gets their number down to 20.2. Then you got your top three. Coming in at third at 18.7 average ranking is the Angry Toads. The Mad Frogs are second and third in 12s, second and 13s, second and 14s, second and 15s, fourth in 18s, ninth in 17s. Uh, the only team they don't have in the top 10 is their top 16s right now. Um, their second 13s or 10th, their second 14s or 10th. So in, as far as top 10 rankings, they got a lot. Um, and then Skyline's at number two at 15.9. First and 12s, first and 14s, second and 16s, third and 15s, fourth and 17s, third and 13s. So they're in top five across the board. Their top teams are top five across the board. Um, their second 13s are top five, and their second 12s are top 10. But actually, Mad Frog and Flyers have more top 10 teams. But Skyline has more top five teams. That's why their average is lower. Um, and then number one is the 800-pound gorilla, uh, TAV, fourth and 12s, first and 13s, fourth and 14s, first and 15s, first and 16s, first and 17s, first and 18s, um, second 17s, second 16s, both fifth, uh, second 18, second 15, seventh and eighth. So a lot of top tens, a lot of top fives, and – their lowest ranked team that's on here is 51st. And that's the only team they have that isn't in the top 30. Yeah. So I mean, just deep. And they have three ones. And they have three number ones. Yeah. Which, I mean, for them, you know, that's about right. Usually they have four or five number ones, but. But they have the most, right? They have the most. Yeah. Skyline has two. Skyline has two. Yeah. So if you look at it um, from that perspective, you know, there's a lot of things I can do. I can take out junior highs and look at it. I can take out high schools and look at it. I can take out, you know, if you do just the um, non-top teams, like if you say, hey, but our, our club's deep. We're just not good at the top team. Well, you can look at that level and see what, this, what the range is there. You can look at just top teams. Um, obviously, TAV, if you do just top teams, TAV averages 1.8, Skyline 2.7. And actually, the third place team for just top teams is Excel. So Excel's top teams are getting it done. Uh, you know, they average five and Mad Frog averages 5.1. So they're real close. Yeah. Um, but things jump around when you do stuff like that. But, I mean, as far as checking out where we are midseason, there's your top ten clubs. I don't think that's super surprising. Um, those are the clubs that I mean, usually. I'm surprised that whoever, the, the team, what would you call it, the first one, the number one one? The number one one? The number, who's the oh, number the one team? pound gorilla? Yeah, no, who, what's, what are they called? Uh, I, that was me pretending to be Chino. <laughs> you had me fooled. Fooled me once. Yeah. <laughs> shame, shame on you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so there's the rankings. Um, rankings, again, don't mean anything except for seeding for regionals, but it's, a, you know, and we've already talked about V-Star and yada, yada, yada. Right. Um, we are going to debut on this very vlog i keep calling it a podcast but whatever um <clears throat> we are we are uh being given access to a ranking system that is being tested by a independent third party organization that does nothing but data analytics uh they've consulted some clubs and consulted people and this is a i mean we're not talking about some little company either I mean, this is like they work with international companies and uh oh so this is like the country music of 
Oh, no, 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 no. This is the country music of data. The people we're working with is the uh, classic rock. (laughs) That's a little bit better than that, but yeah. Uh, these people are, they have a pretty extensive resume. I, I forgot their name off the top of my head, but um, it'll be a new ranking system that is going to be geared more towards results as far as like qualifying. For, it's geared to rank the top. It's not geared to rank everybody. Oh, is this like the Balacora system? Uh, kind of, except Balacora has to do with individual match results, and this has to do with rankings, medals, qualifying, actual finishes. It doesn't oh. have anything to do with head to head or anything like oh, that. Oh, so like triple And for crowns. clubs. So like triple for crowns. For clubs, not for teams. So, yeah, I guess I don't know how Triple Crowns is. Yeah. That's how theirs is. Okay. Um, what else has happened midseason? What is, uh, what's going on that you want to comment on? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff I right. want to compliment on. Yeah. That was mine. Merch. Let me see that other one. Oh. Hey, you're oh. fired. Way too fast. Well, that was rude. We got some of these oh. in, in lady sizes. That's oh, what Gina has. what's um, up? Yeah. <laughs> so we will be sending these out to the people who have uh, qualified, them, won yeah, them, I guess, done yeah. all the fun stuff. So I think we have two or three winners. Well, good for us. So we will well, get that was those. mine. So you stole mine. So what was your other one? No, that was mine. You said you had two because you thought I had one. No. Is one of them the black shirt, one of them the white shirt? So <laughs> <Yeah>. stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, win by two merch. So uh, we're still waiting for people to, you know, yeah. hit us up with some comments and show ideas. Yeah, hopefully you'll know the song that we played. I'll give you a hint. And I ride so far I couldn't mm. get away. Um, that's how it goes. That's it. That 100%. Was, that wasn't Elton John either. Actually, this is, he just does this the whole time. Yeah. Keyboard's not exact. It's one finger. It's not even multiple keys. It's like, that's good. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't want to compliment. I want to comment. Oh, okay, good. I was, I so there is a, there's a new thing coming about pretty soon. 